Today's daf is daf nun ches, and we're we're actually designing on the base, very bottom of the page. And we're discussing the, now the idea of shaving your payas. If you shave your entire head, is there a prohibition of shaving your payas? The payas only for, forbidden if you leave if you leave the entire head and you just cut off the corners. Because they, they they want to say that if you cut the entire head, it's not, it's not considered a corner anymore. You, you removed all your hair. Or do we say no? Irrelevant. It's only unrelated to the rest of the hair of your bed. You have to on your head. You have to keep the pay, retain the pace. So it's very lot of three lines at the bottom. Lema let us say that hakafas kolaroish shaving entire head is actually an argument of tanaim. And what is and what tanaim? Something we already discussed a while ago. And Tarabon, we the Arbon learned. Tez and Pasik. We're talking about over here a Matsura when he finishes his term, he has to shave himself from head to toe. So the Pasik says that on the seventh day he shaves all his hair off his body. Then it starts um, starts highlighting the roisha, the, the hair on the head, as a kana in the beard. And we need to wonder why do we have to highlight the hair on the head and the beard when you already said kosari, all of his hair. In other words, as if you would say you were you're thinking maybe there's an iser. Uh, you know, involved, associated with shaving your head, and we need the, the assay of the mitzvah of, the, of shaving your head to push away that aver. And the same thing with a beard. So now we're going to explain. All right, we learned when I said the Pasuk Roshay, what's it coming to teach you? Lupish and Nemar, because there's an Easter involved. What Easter is involved? Like Sakifa Pas Roshem, nothing to do with the nose or anything else. Every person has an Easter. You're not allowed to shave your pace. And if you're not allowed to shave your pace, and even though the Messiah is cutting off his entire Hair, including the, all the entire hair in his head, nevertheless, there's an Easter involved the payas. Yochal thought Avmatzayda Cain cannot he shaves the entire body except the hair on his except the hair on his head because he, in the payas, except the payas. Tamalaymer Roishay. So he says Roishay no shave his head as well. So clearly this brisa holds that shaving your entire head is uh, still involves an Easter because that's what Avmatzayda does, and therefore we need a pasi. But the other brisa says the pasi is not talking about an ordinary person; it's talking about a nazir. Who has a mitzvah as say analysis of shaving the head? You have to have it says godol yer pera. You have to let your hair grow. Plus, you have, have the aveda that a nose not a shave. We would have thought that it, that if he's a mitzvah, he shouldn't be shaving um, shouldn't be shaving his head. And that's why you're the pussing. Now, the second brace who learns to talk about nose does not learn to talk about every person. Because every person probably is not even aveda at all because you're shaving your entire head. There's no issue of pace. When is there a problem by a nose? So we see these two embrace are arguing. So with Tanid was another brace, he said, Roisha, he had my time when he's had full of fish, and then my guy knows it, Tyler Yava Roisha. A nozzle has a lav, you know, to have a razor on his head. Yoko, I would have thought, plus he has an assay of you have to let your hair grow. So I would have thought, we thought, you know, God will pet us, our Roisha, you have to let your hair grow. I would have thought, nozzle, Mitzayda, even though this person is a Mitzayda, but because it's a nozzle, you have to shave the entire body except the head. Comes the Yerusha that in this case, Asay pushes away not only a Loisa, pushes away a Loisa and an Asay. There's two Averis involved over here, and yet the Mitzvah say by Mitzvah to shave pushes that away. My laugh, can I? Isn't this the argument? The one who said you learn only from Nazar. Why not every person? Because he holds every person. For every person, there's no Aved involved. Because shaving the entire head, there's no issue of removing a pace. The Chiyosikra, the Mitzche, what is, so what's the Pasuk? I'm going to teach you a case of a Nazir which involves a Loisase and an Asay. Big Chiddush, that an Asay can push away a Loisase. Nowhere, and we're going to see tomorrow later, that we don't we don't um, compare any other case to Nazir, because a Nazir is much weaker. Efshir Lishaila, every Nazir can undermine the entire Naziris. That makes all the Avedas that are tagged to a Nazir very weak, because you can always undo it. And that's why in this case, an assay can push away an assay in the But everywhere else in the trader, an assay cannot push away an assay in the There's a famous Riva in Kulin, in Tesis, I think, I think, I think that's from Malif. When he says, he says, when we say an assay cannot be doiche a loisus and an assay together, so most people learn it can be doiche at all. He learns it's still doiche the loisus a part of it. It's not doiche the assay part of it, because my um, my assay, my assay. Why should this assay be any strong? That I say, but it did remove the laces part of it, so for example, it won't be the mouth or anything else because I say pushes that away. And the famous Nadim Huda, interesting discussion for another time. Setting so uh, the Edoch Sava, but the other Braisa holds how coffee called Rishma Kaffa. There is a Easter involved. We're talking about an ordinary person. We would have thought he shouldn't shave his payas because even though you think of the rest of the year, another Edoch is involved. So we need this. The Chiyosha Kurad Midcha, love grade, the trade is coming to teach you that I say pushes away laces. Amar Rav is Rav, no Rai. I can argue, Kuli Alma, every, all both prices agree that Hakafas, Kalarish, Everyone agrees 
that if you remove the entire head, there's no Easter involved at all. So what's in the first b'risa? The chiyas akra. I'll tell you what the pastor is talking about. Ki goin shehikif ulu besayv gilach. When do we say that there's no aved at all if you remove the hair on your head first, and then you remove your pace? So there's, there's no longer corners because there's no hair. But if you remove the, the pace while your hair is still standing, and then after you shave your hair, the head off, you, you, while you were cutting your payas, you still had a hair on your head. And that's what the puzzle is telling you. That we're not going to be so particularly, even if you remove the payas first, you're allowed to because the assay of Mitzvah, shaving takes away that. Uh, that. But if you Taka would have taken the hair on your head first, or somehow or another you did both concurrently, in unison, you, you, you're definitely not even a beggar. Says Robert. The chi also crock, you're going to he keep all of a sudden gilach. He did puzzle to him in a case where you first remove your payas and then you shave your head. That's a problem. Kimani Lagol Khibadim Lay Mikhaev. So you ask the question. If uh, uh what do you call it? And if if if, 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 if the pasuk is coming, for example, he kibbutz gil to ask the word a question. <clears throat> Kivan since the ilu um um gal khibadzim. If you would have done it all in one go, lay mechaiv, since there's a way that you can do, do it without a khiv, is ki hikilum so gil, nami lay mechaiv. No, you're telling me there is a way out of not having to engage and, and the desecrating this event. If you could how by transgressing. If you could have, for example, you have an alternative. You first take the, the hair in your head off and then you remove the pay yourself. So we have a rule that when does I say push away a license when you have no option? But you have an option. So you're telling me here, shave the head first and then cut the payas. So what, what, what's the pastor coming to tell you that the assay of, of shaving pushes away the license of, of, of payas? You can get around it without it. And we have a rule. Didn't we learn a few times where you homer the shlok, you didn't the you say, whenever you find your an assay versus loisa, if you have an option, most of good. But if not, only when do we say that I say, we have no choice. But if you're telling me that if you cut your hair off first and then the pay is, there's no avera, then and then you try to tell me that everyone agrees there's no there's no aveda there you know a couple of is not is not is not an issue the, the only problem is if you cut the pays off first then then it's a problem but you, so you have a, you have an alternative cut the hair in the head of first and then pay so why rely on the assay pushing away the license so the everything about rejection of his answer Elokuliam everyone agrees how comes goes yeah how comes no we need the passing because regardless you'll be even aveda if you, if you remove all the hair on your head I don't care which you did first you're over an aveda. And that's why we need a mitzvah say to come push to say the omit say to shave the head. So what's this other brayser telling us about another? And the other one therefore uses it because he says to push away a loisah. I already know Where do I know that from? We'll see from tzitzis. So I already know that rule. I don't need to teach you about it. What I do need to do is to teach you that I say is pushes away and I say an loisah. That's much bigger chiddush. And that's why he says to him about a nazir and where does he learn out that the concept of uh, the principle of Esadechalaisa? You tell me we know that anyway, the Dase of Mitzvah pushes away the license of cutting, of shaving your head. Where does he know that principle from? See what I like this. Uh, in the second price, we said the positive of my license of Asay, Lav Grade Minole, how does he know a Lav on its own? He can be pushed away. Says the Gemara generally. And you know, and you can't learn from those that Gemara say later on. you make a If an assay pushes away and I learn a loisa, I need a pasuk to tell me that I say pushes away a loisa on its own. Yeah, so no, because as Gemara say later, a nazir is different than is unique because a nazir you can always be matan that you can go to rabbanim and then say, look, the promise I made, I want to cancel, I want to know, and therefore we um, a nazir is different. So that's why there an assay can push away both. But in an ordinary assay in loisa, like a case of not to shave your head, not to shave your pace, and I say mitzvah, who says that it pushes that away? That's an issue that's you know like everybody. Yeah. Well, the man, the mukula, the crow, the mitzvah, the say, lav gedi minole. Where does you know that I say push away lav generally? I'll even learn from tzitzis. We learn from tzitzis because the amar crow it says in pasuk leisil b'shatnes you shouldn't wear shatnes. But Tanya then it says leisil b'shatnes hagedilim tasilcha. It says that you shouldn't wear shatnes, and then it says. And then right after that, it says, uh, um, "It says, um, and the following passage. So what do we dash for that? That even though, first it says, "Don't wish happens." Then it says, "Semer of Pishtim Yachtav Wulin Lin Tiyan." It says, "Dil Tazlacha." So as if to read, like the Semer of Pishtim goes to the next 
passing the deal in Tas Lachan. Um, uh, um, so Moshe fine. Um, man, the Nabi Klimer Oisha. So the first Brayshah that says, "Where are we learning the principle as the Chalosa from the fact by Mitzayda you shave the pace off my time on the Nabi Klimer And what do you learn from the principle as the Chalosa? Why is he learning from this? What do you need to can tell you that I say push away Loisa? If we really know the principle that a mitzvah, a positive mitzvah pushes away a negative, I don't need a special posting that I'm a shade to shave his face. Because we know already the principle that a mitzvah, I say, pushes away the Loisa. So what's the Pasek coming to tell you over here? Um, it must be that he doesn't, this is where he learns that principle, as it pushes away Loisa from Mitzvah. But what about us? We have another Pasek. Amalach. I use the Pasek and Tzitzis to teach you a whole different thing. Look at the Rabbah. I, from Tzitzis alone, I would have thought that an Asay does not push away Lajasin. So what's the by Tzitzis? What's the Torah saying? Temur of Pishta Yachter. I'll tell you what it's saying. To teach you another thing altogether unrelated what Rabbah told us. Also, the Rabbah, Rambi, Rabbah asked a question. It says in Pasek, the Nosnu al Tzitzis, Hakonov, he's a place with Tzitzis on the corner. It just sounds like mean kanaf. Now, we need a what? Whatever material the actual garment is, that's what you should use for tzitzis. Psil tcheles. Kanaf. Psil tcheles. Uksiv, it says, semel pishtim yachto. In other words, it says you can have wool and linen together. What does that mean? So, how kate said, so this is what he learns. Not that you can put on a wool beggar, put linen and tzitzis, or on a linen beggar, put wool and tzitzis. It's not what it means at all. Now, boss. Okay, this is what the passing means. Same the piece in pot and baby like minion. You have a, a any material uh, bag, you can put wool on it and it's good enough. You can put linen on it, it's good enough. But but any other material, whatever the material of the garment is, that's the material of the strings. But that's a khidish, but not that you should put up wool strings on a linen garment or vice versa. So we don't know anything about the Shilohalaisa here. That's why we need the Torah to teach you the principles of the Shilohalaisa. I mean, the all of men, if their own men, the garment, yes, but otherwise, no. So you know, the high Tanah, this Tanah, the map, the Roisha, the Lagreda, the Tanah says, I'm using the Roisha to teach you an ordinary person, not to shave the page, but a Missouri can't, because I say, push away the Lisa. How does he know that if you're a Nazir, since he's using this posse for an ordinary person, how does he know to talk if you're a Nazir in the Mitzvah, that you have a right to shave your head? That's not only right, you have an obligation to shave. Maybe in that case, because it involves an assay and a licensor, maybe the Nazir Taka shouldn't uh, shave. How does he know that principle? Remember, that the second Bryce learns it from the very same posse that the first Bryce is learning the concept of Esa Deicha We're talking about an ordinary person. And we're not talking about a, um, uh, what do you call it, a Nazir. So how does he know the principle that by a Nazir it pushes away? He learned it from the next word. It says, and his beard. And his beard. And by and his beard, he's not talking about a nozzle, but we're going to say that, you know, you're not allowed to shave your beard with a razor and all that. And then, by a coin, in, in the past, like it talks about a coin where the first time it says, don't shave your beard. And by coin, it also involves an assay and a laser. The laser is not to shave your beard. And the assay is creation to you. You have to be holy, you have to be something special. And the Tati says the Connor Matayda should shave the beard off. And that's where they learn the principle that I say can push away by a Matsuri that I say like say, and then they'll apply the same thing to another. We're gonna learn another from a coin. The time you learn to Connie, why did they have to say he shaved his beard by Matsuri? Because Matt Tamil, what are you for teaching them? Because it says the past the Connor like a it says the posse that you know to shave your beard. I mean I'll you know shave your beard with a razor as we're supposed to again. I would have thought up coin Matsuri Kane. I would have thought a coin. Because that passage is talking about a coin. Uh, I would have thought that a coin who, who happens to have an, a, um, a mitzvah say, analyze and he happens to have us, maybe uh, also, um, what do you call it, that he should not shave. Even though he's a mitzvah, he can't give and say, what is it? I'm a lame as a coin. I, therefore, Tom tell you his beard. I want that the, I don't give a coin. I don't give him a say, what is it? Go ahead and shave your beard. Okay, so that's where he learns the principle when it comes to Matayda, one assay pushes away a loisas that coupled with an assay, and then we'll apply the same thing to an assay. What about if you have multiple loisas, for example, you have a mix of uh, a Baltakif and, and Baltash, and for example, you have a of the Levi, have you have a child called the Sora Mat. Okay, we have we have a council we had it before already. Um, yeah, Mali Khadla, Mali Trela. We had it before. It's a lot of automatic. That's right. Know. But we did have more Yavamas. You remember they had a whole discussion that can uh, and I say push away a lab she yes by chorus. Well, the lab is a higher grade. The, the general question is this whole principle of an assay pushes away license. Is it the Khuya Hutra? Is the Pshat that say is stronger than a license they can push it away? But then you have a lot of limitations. Or the Pshat is what the Abisha says when I have an assay, there's no license here. You know that are very 
area of having shatnas, but when it comes to tzitzis, not the pshat is that the midst of tzitzis is more important than the area of shatnas. No, there's no better shot than apply. So uh, I say is hutra or the And the Travis Machik is we had something very similar. We talk about about a coin to uh Metamas Yakravin. We had it in the in the Machik Rashi taste and brachas that have from out there on top. The, what's the idea? We say a coin is a lot of time to crave him is the Khuya Hutra and Trace is there says it's Khuya because it's just like an SD. And Rashi would may, maybe agree it's just like an SD, but he says. I learned by that there's no there's no in the first place, just like by coin. It's not the coin is even a very when he's metame to the seven relatives, but the mixture of being metame overrides that. There's no very no first place. Think about it further. Okay, the man, the map, the racial, the one is that racial, the second race comes to teach your nose and materials and not saying, well, just a lay with the economy. Let him learn that from the economy. He wasn't using racial for that. Let him use racial for ordinary persons. The economy, um, if since everyone agrees, and you're telling me now that everyone agrees shaving the tire head is not so why doesn't the second race? To say the ratio is talking about another and and, and safe and the economy is talking about uh, sorry the ratio is talking about an ordinary person which is as the and the economy is coming to teach you uh, um, a coin with it I say and the ratio is more as back the time that according to you the kind of about the general we have a rule the lawyer said as the ratio is if I say we have a general rule that like you said that an I say cannot push away a, a loss is a couple with an I say so lay live me coin let's learn from a coin the dachi. But now that we've established by coin, no, but you can tell me, El coin lay affinity. You cannot learn compared to a coin. Why is a coin different? Coin has a weakness that even Nazar doesn't have. And that's called a lav. We had this in Yubamas. It's a lav she'en is of a coin. It only applies to coin. Yeah. That I say of Kadoshim to you only applies to coin. So it's a weak I say. I can argue. You know why by coin mitzvah you can go ahead and shave the beard because an Esed Deichel and why Esed Deichel lays of a say because weak. And since coin is weak, nor can you compare. Um, what do you call it? Um, a nazir to the to a coin as well, and that's why we need to learn that Roisha is talking about a nazir and the Kona is talking about a coin. Each one is different than the neck. We can't learn coin from nazir and you can't learn nazir from coin. Remember, we'll conclude you cannot learn from coin because it's a lab, she ain't a shabbat call, such a weak lab, that's why it gets pushed away. You cannot learn from nazir because you can undo the tie in his ears. So just like you cannot learn anything else from a coin because a coin is, is so weak, and that's why. So also you couldn't learn another from a coin, and that's why, and that's why you had to um. It's a lavish ain't a shav of a coin. That's why you had to have a posse roisha for another and the coin for coin. The man who moves high roisha for another, normally the coin. The one who learns Rosh Nazir, what does he need to come for it all? Now the Gemara is playing out what we just said before. Let's learn Koyin from Nazir. Once you've established that Nasi Doichel, I say, let's say, let's, okay, you cannot learn from Koyin, but learn from Nazir. The boy, they know. He said, I need to come for something else altogether. I'm not even, maybe I'm not learning Koyin. You know what? Maybe I do learn Koyin from Nazir, definitely word Rosh So what I do with this Koyin, another thing altogether. That will teach you what exactly, what instrument can't you use uh, for shaving, and to teach you what instrument uh, I'm so they should use for shaving. As it says, we already had before as well. The time, the Brahe says, the corner, my time, what he's going for, it says, it says, the process, they go past the corner, the corners of the beard, like you got lechu, it says, like you got lechu. Galechu means shaving. Yachal af kaim and trade again. So, first of all, I would have thought of kaim and trade at the same time, like it's a corner. If it says, the corner, that a coin, what? That a coin, a material goes ahead and does. How do you know that we're talking about a racer? How do we know that a material when he has to shave himself, he has to use a razor? Because the time you will, what's the since you need the possible corner to teach you that a coin material shaves, that means we would have thought it's awesome, right? And we're going to prove that the easter of shaving is only with a razor. And if the trader says, I but a material should, must be the material has to use a razor because if a material can use alternative methods, let's say a scissor, yeah. uh, even if it cuts it very fine, yeah. you wouldn't have an essay pushing away a laser because the Rish Lakish says, whenever you have alternatives, you have to use the, the permitted alternatives. I think more explain. Time we learned the past, kind of like Galechu, in one past, it says you shouldn't shave. Shave could be anything. Even if you use, let's say, scissors. And that possibly by a coin. Tamalema, we have another possibly that's written by Yisrael, where it says that you shouldn't uh, take off your pace. The lay sashchis as as it connects. Use the word sashchis, which means to destroy. It means pulling out by its roots. Lay sashchis. E lay sashchis. If it's destroying, I don't care how. What method you use? Yocha lichtan b'malaket. Using a, a plane that a carpenter uses to you know, shave it to smooth out a board, and others say the malaka actually means a tweezer. 
So you're pulling it out from its roots. Because I'm, I'm being mashkis. That's why the other pasuk says tavlai pasuk on yigalechu. It has to be a normal way of of of, of, of shaving. Eze giluach sheyesh boy hashchasa. So give me a way that you're shaving normally, but it's destroying from the roots. Haliyim is a tar. It's only a shaver. The east says that's from a shaver, and we're telling a mitzvah that you're allowed to do it. Now it's clear that a mitzvah uses a razor as well, not a shaver, a razor to go ahead and to completely remove the hair. So the first rice that says that this rice should come teach the principle as the chalais will come an ordinary person. What do you need? Um, what do you need to do both for rice and zikonai? Um, she says, I can learn from Rosh either we're coming to push away a normal love, like you're talking about an ordinary stroll, or I can tell you, you're talking about a Nazi with us and I say, and our Lashay said together. I can learn both from the same word. There's a different way to show you. This is one of the things. I can learn from the Rosh I can either tell you, you're talking about an ordinary stroll, an ordinary person, and we're talking about one Aveda here shaving the pace, and I say, can't you push that away? Or I can say, you're talking about a Nazi. And it's talking about somebody has an essay and a lisa, but a weaker version. And they're both equal. It is um, the Yavish name, you can learn both of them. Koyim and Nazir Loyalif. Why can't you learn a Koyim? Nobody is Koyim for a Koyim. She can yesh the Nazir has a weakness, he can go and undo the whole thing. Nazir me Koyim Loyalif. You cannot learn Nazir from Koyim. She can lav, she ain't your Shavabako. You cannot learn Nazir from Koyim because Koyim is limited only to Koyim. That posting, that mitzvah, Kodeshim T, was unlimited to Koyim. It's just a weak thing. And you don't generally learn. Therefore, we have two exceptions where Nasei pushes away a license and Nasei. One is by a Koyim and Mitzvah. Uh, you, have to, you have to take off their, um, their, their beard and it's Kodeshim to you. And it has the lava, you shouldn't uh, sh- uh, use a razor. And then and you have also by um, a Nazir who happens to be a Mitzayda. You know, I'll take a haircut. Um, and it says, and I say no listen. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of Avedis here. You ask a question, you have the lava beard, you have the lava of a haircut, and yet I say Mitzayda, push them all away. Because Malik Chadla, Malik Shtay Lama. Kedoshim to you. Yeah, but you have a Yeah, but that doesn't apply to any specific Mitzayda or any... Any, um, that's a general thing. Now, the Gemara introduces a concept which we'll learn about tomorrow. That is, the Torah says, Le Silbush, you're not allowed to, a man is not allowed to dress in a woman's garments, and a woman is not allowed to dress in a man's garments. And Rashi says, in order to mingle with others. The famous question then, um, uh, quickly, Yenus of Benazil translates in the Torah, and when it says, Le Silbush, Isha, um, a woman is not allowed to wear a man's uh, clothes. He says it's talking about talus and film. That is an isa de araisa for a woman to put on film because that's a man's clothing. Or it's an isa because or the terror of talus. It's a man's mitzvah. This is to do with clothing. It's the only mitzvah that we wear that from the terror that we have to dress in a certain way. So a woman is not allowed to do that. Um, it's not just that they're put from film, it's, it's actually not allowed to do that. So the famous question is so how did Shaul Hamel Gloria Michal put on film? And we had the more Arabic that said, hey, that's um, you know, whatever. How did she wear film? And, and Rashi's daughters wore tefillin. All the three daughters, Rabbi and Tom's mother. How did they wear tefillin? So, they, so the answer that the Rashi says they they wear the towels and tefillin to to, uh, to mingle with others. But because Rashi's daughters were so famous, Michal Bar Shaul was a princess, was so famous, they couldn't hide themselves. You know, they, so obviously they didn't. It wasn't done to, in order to mingle to uh, to uh, to appear like a man, a like gentle, and therefore. Yeah, so therefore they were allowed to even according to the ancient Menazil. But the Gemara doesn't talk about, you know, also it talks about, you know, an army, if, if, if that's a man's uniform, and which we'll see tomorrow in the Gemara. Just could you start the Gemara here? There's a Gemara here. And the idea of being vain, it, for if a man is not allowed to be vain, that's why you're not allowed to dye your beard and to try to look young. You're not allowed to do things which make you vain. And uh, the whole issue about looking in the mirror for, for vain purposes. Says the Gemara. Um, uh, we're not talking about looking mirror to make sure you look like a mensch, you look like a schlepper. We're talking about uh, or whatever. Or you you were going outside, you look like a, a mensch. That, that, that's not what we're talking about. Uh, quickly, just about the page. Morris says here, um, the two that Omarav Rav said, Makel Adam Kol Gufa Betar. A person is allowed to remove. We're not talking about the beard. We're not talking about the hair on your head. We're talking about 
all your other parts is here under your arms, uh, you here um, down by your male parts. Uh, a person is allowed to remove everything, including by using a razor. You're allowed to remove all your hair with a razor. Does the Gemara makes a lot of question? It says clearly, the Brisa Mavi Beisa Shechi Beisa Erba. If somebody removes the hair on the armpits or Beisa Erba down by his male parts, how is it like? You get Malchus, and you tell me you're allowed to. So he says, Habitar Habim Misparayim. What Rav said, you're allowed to. We're talking about a scissor. Uh, even though it's very, very close. Uh, like I guess a, a waxing would be like a tar. But a tar is, um, uh, if you're using a razor, you're not allowed. So Rav Nami Batar Kama. Rav clearly said that you're allowed to remove all your hair using a razor. And now you're telling me he meant, he meant scissors. Mara says, Ke ain't tar. He meant even if you bring it so close to your skin as if you have no hair, it's all right. So Rav, you're allowed to remove all your hair. I look at you, look at you like, so it's not a problem with silver. That's what he's trying to tell you here. There's no problem with silver. A razor is a different issue. You're not allowed to. He said, He argues, see, a taste of learns. He argues that you're not allowed to remove the hair of the rest of your body because you get malchus. Leika sounds like the East in the Taita. Mesa has a question. It says, He says, Removing the hair is not Maha Taita, it's only Midrabanan. So he said, My Leika and Amdukam are Midrabanan. When he says over here, Leika, Rabbi Echen meant Midrabanan. So Rabbi Echenon holds that um, you need some midrabanan to remove all your hair. And it sounds like even with the face of the Shat and Rabbi Echenon, he argues with that even using scissors, you're not allowed to get, you're not allowed to go get a, remove all your hairs. And, um, and, um, and, Ra, and Rav says, ain't tired to the only time it's forbidden is if you're using an actual razor, which means that waxing would be permitted, not a razor, so you're allowed to do that. Look at you tomorrow and we'll have the discussion about um, people trying to um, mimic others or different genders, trying to swap genders.